Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney here in Bangkok, Thailand, the Managing Director of Integrity Legal. I am briefly going to explain the 221G and explain the difference between that and the RFE. The 221G is issued by the Department of State, specifically by a consular officer adjudicating a case at the consular section of a U.S. Embassy abroad. Uh, specifically, for our purposes, we'll, we'll basically be discussing this in the context of the U.S. Embassy in Bangkok, uh, but it could theoretically be issued by a consular officer anywhere around the world. Um, the 221G is technically speaking a refusal and sometimes referred to as a denial of a visa application. It is not a denial as such as it is a refusal pending further documentation. An outright denial like, say, a denial for uh, based on grounds of legal inadmissibility, uh, which we will be discussing in uh, the piece and on the page uh, talking about the I-601 waiver, that's a different matter. The 221G, very similar to the RFE in the context of the United States Citizenship and Immigration Service, the RFE is a request for evidence, a 221G is very, very similar. Um, generally following an interview at the U.S. Embassy here in Bangkok, if the visa is not immediately issued or immediately put through the process of issuance uh, upon the interview date, then a 221G request for further documentation is issued at that point. The 221G, uh, generally speaking, 221Gs have a one-year validity, so what that means is the uh, interviewee, uh, aka the applicant, the fiancé or spouse of an American citizen in many cases in our practice, or say somebody seeking business visa benefits who is interviewed at the embassy, um, that person will uh, be issued with a 221G and they have a year to respond to said 221G. The case will remain open and at which time that the requirements of the 221G can be met, the, um, the visa will presumably be issued. Um, in many cases, further documentation regarding the uh, span of the of the relationship or evidence of the relationship or further evidence regarding travel to and from Thailand on the part of the American petitioner may be necessary under 221G. 221Gs can be issued for a variety of different reasons. Um, they are specifically a refusal of the visa but they are a refusal with reason. They are generally a refu refusal pending further documentation and once uh, said refusal, the, the reasons for the refusal have been overcome, generally speaking, uh, the visa will be issued. Um, again, 221Gs are markedly different from the RFE. Uh, the, if one has been issued an RFE by USCIS or is looking into issues regarding RFE by USCIS, I strongly suggest checking out the page on our site involving RFEs and USCIS. Uh, for further information regarding consular processing, there's further information on our website and blog specifically regarding consular processing and 221G. Thank you.